Good afternoon. I wanted to give you an update on what's been happening in Washington, D.C. this past week. Now, unfortunately, Democrats are still refusing to hold a full House vote on the impeachment inquiry into President Trump. I think it's wrong. And it seems to me that the Democrats at this point are trying to sneak the impeachment past the American people. Right now, they've been having closed door hearings that are shielded from the public eye. If you look at history, you look at the Nixon and the President Clinton impeachment proceedings, they were afforded to the minority subpoena power. And it also the White House was able to use their own lawyers at these proceedings. At this point, all that's been shut out. Earlier this week, I asked to review the transcript from Ambassador Volcker's testimony before the committee. As you all know, Volcker was the special representative to the Ukraine. I think that his testimony is vital, and I think that certainly it is as it relates to the impeachment proceedings. Chairman Adam Schiff's staff told me that I wasn't allowed to review the testimony, and that's also true for any other member of Congress. Here's my point. Members of Congress should be able to review testimony like Volcker's, especially, especially when we're talking about impeaching the President of the United States. Frankly, there's no transparency in the process. I think that's wrong. At a minimum, members of Congress should be able to see all the evidence, present evidence, listen to witnesses, uh, ask questions. We're shut out of all of that. Right now, House Democrats have been moving towards impeachment since day one. We remember that. I want you to know that I'm not going to be distracted by what I think is an improper Im impeachment inquiry as we are at this point. I want to focus on getting the job done. I want to focus on addressing the important issues that face our nation. For example, passing the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement and also addressing the security crisis at our southern border. Now, as always, if you have any concerns, any questions, any comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to our offices in West Tennessee or in Washington, D.C. You can also visit my website. It's custoff.house.gov. We have updates on legislative activity, constituent services statements that I've made in the media. It's an honor to represent you in West Tennessee, also in our nation's capital. And I hope you have a great and wonderful weekend. Thank you very much.